bullies. When she would hit me, my head hit the locker. All together in the same house. Anyone in this house. You've been a problem. Pump your brakes. I'm done. Since you got involved in this. Get out of my face. I'm so done. I don't want to talk. Pretty, young, and violent. Standing up to mean girls. Forget sugar and spice and everything nice when it comes to bullying. It's no longer just a boy's world. More and more girls are becoming the aggressors. A recent survey of 6th and 7th grade girls showed that almost one in three admitted to hitting someone as a form of bullying. And punches are also being thrown through cyberspace as girls use the internet to harass each other as well as post videos of some of their physical fights. And it's time for this madness to stop. We decided to do something a little different. We came up with a plan to bring together girls who have been victimized by bullies and the bullies themselves. Yesterday, we introduced seven teenage girls, Hannah, Katie, Lily, Caitlin, Nicole, Tempest, and another Hannah. When they arrived at the Dr. Phil house, we had several exercises in store for both the girls and their mothers. One rule I insisted on was absolutely no gossiping. Our goal was to see if these girls could leave as friends. My good friend, Dr. Charles Sophie, medical director for the Los Angeles County Department of Child and Family Services, met up with them to kick off the retreat. But before the retreat could even start, one of the girls, 15-year-old Katie, pulled off her microphone and screamed that she wanted to go home. This behavior is why her parents, Lisa and Tom, had brought her here. Yesterday, they told me they were scared of their own daughter because of her violent behavior. Let go! You ruined my life! Katie is mean. Just a me. Bossy, aggressive. This house is like a war zone. Katie, stop! There are two adults in the house, but you've abdicated control. She runs the home. Right. What is it you think has her in such a rage? She wants something and we tell her no. She doesn't accept it. If this is going to change, we got to get real about this and we got to deal with what's actually going on. As the other six girls and their moms sat waiting to get started, Katie refused to participate, demanding to go home immediately. We're not leaving, Katie. Are you? You're not leaving. Donna. We're I'm not leaving. leaving. We need to get help, Katie. I'm not living the life that we've been living. It's not okay. You can't take away my life. I can do what I have. I want because I am the parent. Take away my life. You know what? Your life is just going to get that much. You miserable. are taking away your life by not doing this. You are psychopath. Well, you're taking away my life. No. Nope. I'm not allowed to f one friend because of you. You can't do that to your own daughter. All you got to do is go through a couple of days of the special help they have for us. That's all we have to do. I told Shut you. Up. Why don't you want to be here? Mentally retarded. Why don't you want the help? No, Katie, stop. Let me call my friend. I don't. Can you text me? Just let me call my friend. You know what? Stop it. That is enough. Now, see, this is what. Stop and let go. I said no, and that means no. God, stop it. Let go of my purse and Katie, don't let go. Now. Please listen to me and stop! We're stuck with this kind of life. If you don't do this, that's what we're stuck with. I'm not doing it! I want to leave! We're not leaving, Katie. I'm leaving! Hey, what's going on? When I first got to the house today, I walked into a total mess. I'm Dr. Sophie. Obviously, I had to deal with that crisis right away. What's going on? Why were you 